from the from Jeremiah 31 the Lord appeared of old to me saying yes I have loved you with an everlasting love therefore with loving kindness I have drawn you And from Romans 6, St. Paul writes, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Height. It's funny how the way some people say height. <laughs> What's the height of that? It's not height, it's height. It ends with a T. If it ended with an H, then it would be height. Depth. Notice depth ends with an H. Depth. Height, depth. Nuclear jewelry realtor. Those are correct pronunciations. Neither height nor depth. H-E-I-G-H-T, height. Discuss the power of the love of God. Which of these verses speaks loudest to you? It doesn't speak loudest. He should have said, which of these verses has the most meaning for you? Speak loudest. He's so... S Got watchdogs, don't I? Nobody can come in my front yard. <laughs> Not with those doggies. They run out and bark when somebody's just walking past the house. How do you see the love of God showing up in your life right now? I'm alive. I can see, I can hear, I can speak, I can think, I can move. I've got a roof over my head. I've got heat, I've got three precious dogs. How could you not see the love of God in my life? How does how do these scriptures shape your view of your heavenly Father? Shape your view. Again, bad bad writing. In what ways would you describe God's love for you? What other scriptures can you find that speak of God's love for his children? I know one. So from two... Co from two chronicles. I like this one. The eyes of the Lord look to and fro throughout the whole earth show himself strong to those who are blameless toward him. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong to those who are blameless toward him. What does that mean? It means God is constantly looking to help people 
who live by his laws to show himself strong to those who are blameless toward him. So if you're living a life of uh, not obeying God's laws, he's going to pass you by. If you are living in sin right now, God isn't going to help you. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong to those who are blameless toward him, which means to those who are living according to his will, or at least who are trying to live according to his will. Do you try to live according to God's will? She can't help it. She has to. She doesn't have a free will. That's the difference between an animal and a person. An animal has no free will and they do what God wants them to do because God instilled their instincts in them. That's how they survive. But man was given an unspeakable gift in free will. It is the greatest gift besides God himself. Free will. That means I can do anything I want if I choose to disobey God who created me and gave me everything. I can disobey him. Adam and Eve did. They started the whole thing. But what a gift free will is. If I want to raise my arm, I can raise it. If I don't want to, I can put it down. <coughs> here's my little buddy. Oh, here's my little buddy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If I choose to obey the law, then I choose to obey God, because God is the law. If you choose to break the law, then you choose to break God's law. And if you do that, God help you, partner. God help you because when you're estranged from God it's rough. It's really rough. That's right. Yes, I know. I know. If you're estranged from God, he's not there to... She wants her morning treat. <laughs> if you're estranged from God, he can't help you. He can help you and probably does as much as he wants to. But if you're estranged from him, he's saying, you know, Go ahead and do it yourself. Take the consequences. But when you repent of your sin, I'll forgive you. And if you are sincere about it and try to live according to my laws, of which there are ten, they're called commandments, if you live by those laws, I'll give you a lot of stuff. I'll give you a lot of joy and peace. I'll give you a lot of serenity. You can say, well, I obeyed the commandments. I obeyed, well, at least eight of them. Well, you see, the thing is, they're not suggestions. They're commandments. You can't pick and choose. You either obey God and all of his laws, or you take the consequences, and the consequences can be dire, and the consequences will surely come. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> 